Hey guys, today we're trying Michaela Beer Geek Dessert Beer. It's got a fancy label. I, I wanted it because it was pink. And then I saw that it actually is an oatmeal stout brewed with cocoa and vanilla. And I was like, ooh, that sounds delicious. Mmm. We got it to try it because why not, eh? And... Oh my god, it's 11%. Oh, another one. Holy crap. You're going to be on your tits. Oh my god, it smells good already. Whoa. Ugh. It smells it like liquor. It, sm it smells a bit like licorice. Mm, I don't know. Um, oh my god. Why is it black? I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting that. And her face has not immediately gone into a smile, so it's probably disgusting. Yuck, isn't it? Mmm. Mmm. People are waiting. Is it good or not? It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Alright, that's all we need. But the flavour... Is... Like... The immediate taste on the tip of your tongue is like, oh, that's horrible. But the flavour when it reaches the back of your tongue, it tastes so much like chocolate. Oh, you picked another foul beer. This what is with these really high percentage ones? They just taste disgusting. Oh, this, is, this one's weird. The aftertaste is very vanilla-y. It goes from yuck to mmm, that's alright. But you've got to get past the yuck. I think if they had put it in a lower percentage beer it why? would have tasted a lot better why do they need to make it so high I don't know see to me it just smells like licorice I don't know why no I get a real real strong cocoa smell I don't know it's got such a candy pink girly label like it's such a uh, how many girls a, would drink this yeah it's such a girly label that I was expecting it to not be like this. I'm not convinced anybody could like this. Oh, look at the like when you swirl it around. Look at the color. It's kind of like an orangey, mucky, browny, muck, greeny, browny, yellowy. All of the colors under the yucky brownness label. Ugh. I don't like stouts to begin with. Why do you keep buying them? I didn't. I <laughs> Like, I read that it was a stout, but it didn't click. Huh. It kind of tastes like someone's got a stout beer, mixed it with cigarettes and Vegemite, and then chucked chocolate and vanilla in with it. It tastes like beer at the end of a kid's party. I don't get much taste of the vanilla. It comes after you swallow. It's weird. Hey, <laughs> it's better than narwhal by a m very small percentage, but it's definitely better than narwhal. What did I give the last one? Three. Three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like Marmite, or oh, I mean Vegemite, that somebody has mixed a teaspoon of cocoa and a teaspoon of vanilla essence in with and then mixed it all up and what you're left with they've turned into a beer and this is it yep that's pretty accurate well it has notes of yuck with with up, um, high notes of yuck and ugh <laughs> There's a bit of, oh my god, I'm going to be sick in there as well. And sentiments of why. Uses for this beer. Um, killing slugs in your garden. <laughs> Maybe marinating a steak. I wouldn't. If you want to ruin your steak. <laughs> Traumatising children. <laughs> Come here, little kitty. Put you on the wrist. Mm-mm. 
Oh. <laughs> you know, if you if you had a a, um, a wheel of misfortune and you spun it and you put this on one of the squares so that if that one came up, you had to drink a bottle of it. Yeah, that, that's prob probably a use for it. <laughs> it honestly, it reminds me of the taste of burnt ash from. It just, to me, it, it's it's like what the bottom of the barbecue would taste like <laughs> oh, yeah. if you were to lick it, you know. Oh. All that burnt black ashy. Have you ever burnt like jam or caramel or toffee? And then tried to eat it thinking it would be nice? Yeah. Yes, and it's horrible. That's like, what this reminds me of. I just wanted to like it. It has a nice label. It's supposed to be nice. Three and a half out of ten. I'd give it a three. Again. I think it's I think it's slightly nicer than the narwhal. Slightly. So, I don't know. Very, very slightly. In fact, three point five is too generous. Three point one. <laughs> I was yeah. expecting a lot better because it was a a European beer. Yeah. And I was sadly disappointed. Letting the team down, Norway. <laughs> Letting the stout team down, all of you. <laughs> <laughs> in some in summation, I was going to say in consumption. In utero. <laughs> ah, fuck. To sum up, <laughs> in summation, <sighs> insemination. In all of the sums. <laughs> no. No. So many no. No, 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 no. Nope. Doesn't taste like pink at all. Le mm. bye. Le bye. You look like Miranda sings for a second there. You know what we should do is that we should build a bar. Where would this bar go? In our imaginary house. It could be imaginary. <laughs> it could be an imaginary bar with imaginary. imaginary we could make. Beer. We could just make a green screen. You know, then we could make imaginary beer videos. Yeah. Drink. We just put water in a glass and say, "Oh, this is the new imaginary clear beer." <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like water. Oh, weird. <laughs> the beer or the lollipops? What well, says it's a dessert beer? Who has beer for dessert? Alcoholics. Yeah. It 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 and I quote it 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 Courtney. The loof, the loof, the loof is on fire. Um, I actually made it a bit better. It's still not good. Um, <gasps> uh, be a mouthwash. <laughs> Eleven.